So I'm going to unpack cloud computing, the underlying principles, some of the challenges and misconceptions, and its relevance to Cloud Foundry. Cloud computing has been around for a long time now, so it should be really well understood. The attributes associated with cloud computing are elasticity, the ability to dynamically handle growth and scale up and back down again, on demand, choosing when and how to consume a specific service, and also self-service, the ability for me to directly provision a service as opposed to raising a ticket. So what are the misconceptions with cloud computing? Well, cloud computing's been broken up into this logical stack of SaaS, PaaS, and IaaS, and this is wrong. It's wrong for two reasons. It shows these clean boundaries, and the stack is too simplistic. For example, if you consider the physical infrastructure, providing you can drive those cloud computing characteristics of elastic on-demand self-service, there's no reason why you can't install a platform on top of your physical infrastructure. You're not strictly limited to having to put it onto a hypervisor. When you look at the applications that run on top of the platform, you're not limited to this small window of SaaS-based applications. You can pretty much run anything on a platform, be it IoT applications, back office applications, batch, streaming, computational jobs. The list of applications you run on top of Cloud Foundry should be limitless. So you can run anything on a platform. When you look at established enterprises, especially if they have legacy technology, they may still have some applications running in VMs on a hypervisor or some applications, on, some applications running on bare metal. This is a much more realistic stack for the enterprise. When you look at these clean boundaries, you only have to look at AWS, which most people regard as an IaaS, and just look at the rich set of services that they start to offer. They're very much bleeding into the platform space. So these boundaries between each layer are becoming much more blurred. So how does Cloud Foundry deal with cloud computing? It does so in two ways. It uses contracts and it uses opinions. So starting with this CPI layer, this cloud provider interface, this forms a contract between the platform and the underlying infrastructure. It means that the platform isn't bound into any one specific infrastructure or one set of APIs. And this means you're free to move that platform and run it in different environments and by and large expect the same behavior. In addition, the applications that run on Cloud Foundry, Cloud Foundry itself is a structured, opinionated platform. It has opinions on how things should run. And those opinions, those platform opinions, form a contract with the applications that run on it. So that means that Cloud Foundry as a platform doesn't care where it runs, but it is opinionated on the applications that run on top of it. 